Okay, so I've just had the boot charm. I've been holding down Command R, and so recovery starts. This takes quite a while. I'm trying to reposition this camera. I'm using old school, point the camera at a screen. It's kind of the very early pre version of I Show You. Imagine that. Okay, so this take a while. I'll speed it up. Hey, it's in reflection. Hmm. Okay, so let's position the camera. Alright, so when you see this, <clears throat> you don't want any of these at all. Uh, in fact, you want to come up to here where you've got utilities and select terminal. And you'll get this little window. Now, I'm going to try and make the text bigger so that we can read it. Yes, I can. Brilliant. Okay, and then just resize this. Bigger again. Okay. So we need to find out where this thing is. And the first thing that we want to do is uh, find the right volume. So there's a command called disk read, DF. And if you type that, you get a whole bunch of stuff. But um, here's a pointing device. Yeah, I use this. What's important, um, I have actually got a, a couple of that sand disk there as a uh, backup. But my main, my main system is called Mac Guru because I just restored it and it was a pain in the neck. Um, anyway, so there's Mac Gur hyphen data. Now, I think it's going to be in there, so let's go take a look. So, I'm going to change directory cd to forward slash volumes Mac Gur, and then I need a, um, uh, what do they call it? Backtick. Backtick? Backslash space hyphen data come on give it to me there we go uh, I'm pressing tab to complete that so let me do that again just show you so CD forward slash capital V for volumes press tab capital M for Mac that's case sensitive so you got to be you got to be correct um, put the space in there with the backslash tab and there we go okay so let's say you move around um, now, if it works like that, I just hit enter, enter, nothing came back, and said PWD to print the working directory, and yep, I am there. Now, can you see this? Uh, sort of. Yes. My manual zoom. Need sound effects. Cool. All right. So, off here, uh, if we go to the library folder, uh, and then I'm doing the same thing, CD, space, it's library extensions, so E, tab, extensions, and here I am. Um, so yours will be different. It might say volumes Macintosh HD hyphen data. Okay, and this is Catalina, right? This this is only Catalina. Mojave would be different. Um, right, let's have a look. LS minus L. You see a bunch of stuff. Now the one we want is this one here. I show you audio capture. So getting rid of that is really easy. So you want to remove RM space the minus sign. RF, which means recursive false. Um, <clears throat> I show you. So I'd, I show you, and then I tab. As long as it looks like that, you've got I show you audio capture dot text. Now I'm not going to remove it because it's working for me, right? Um, but that's all you do. If you hit enter at that point, it'll do just this. It'll come back done. If you do a ls minus l for list, uh, then you would see. When, when the RM is done up here, this will no longer be here. Okay, it's gone. And that's it. That's all we've got to do. So from that point, you can then go, let's do some more manual camera stuff here. Do, 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 restart. And trust me, that driver is gone. Oh uh, yeah, so that's how you remove it.